If some of your tracks here in GarageBand on your iPhone or your iPad are out of time and they're just not sitting in sync with the rest of your song, then there's a chance that quantization could be just what you're looking for to help you out. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a very specific type of quantization, which is triplet note quantization. So let's dive in and take a look now. Let's go. First things first, what is quantization? Well, it's another term that we use here in the recording world that could probably sound a lot simpler than it is. Really, it just means lining up your notes to your grid or to your time signature. So if you're in 4-4 time and you have quarter note quantization, it means every note is gonna sit on the one, two, three, or four beat instead of sitting somewhere in between. And I've got a heap of videos all about quantization. They'll be linked up there and down in the description if you wanna check out a bit more general detail. But today, I'm going to look at something that's very specific. And a lot of folks ask me, they look at quantization and they see straight, which they understand. They see swing, which a lot of folks understand as well, because a swing rhythm is just a, a swinged version of a straight rhythm, which we'll talk about in a moment. But the third is triplet. And the question is, when would you ever use triplet? What sort of rhythm and beats? Well, one type of music that uses triplets quite a lot is the blues. So in this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration of how to make a 12 bar blues rhythm really pop using some triplet quantization. So let's jump in to GarageBand here and take a look now. Here is my 12 bar blues arrangement here in GarageBand on my iPhone as it is at the moment. And right now it sounds a little bit like this. So not bad, the, I've got some drummer, just a standard drummer here using some a swing rhythm, and then I've recorded my upright bass. Now I've recorded this just using the actual upright bass here, but using the minor blues scale here in my automatic scaler. Now if you haven't used this before, you totally have to. I've got videos about how to use this with all your different instruments, uh, including your keyboards and your guitars and everything. It's a great way if you don't know your scales, you don't know your music theory, then GarageBand. will help you actually play the right notes. They'll be right in the scale there. But anyway, we're covering that in a future video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, now's a good time because I'm doing a video where I show you how to do all of this and bring this all together. But in this one, I just wanted to show you the quantization options that we have here and why I'm using triplet quantization in this one. So, Let's slide out here. We're going to go up to the top here to our control panel and we're going to go to track settings at the very top here and quantization. Now, at the moment, it's on none. There's no quantization. I've just recorded this in and it's as I recorded it. Now, if you've used quantization before, and once again, there's videos which will be linked up the top and down below if you need to learn a bit more about quantization. But in essence, quantization lines up your notes with the grid, with the time signature. So in its simplest form, if we go straight and quarter note, in a 4-4 four, four rhythm song, there's four beats. So that dum, 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 that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So that is the rhythm of this. But obviously, it's got a bit of a bit of a swing to it. It's got a bit of a different rhythm there. So if we put quarter note on here, it's only going to play our notes on the quarter note. Let's take a listen to that right now. So it's skipping all of those notes that are anything that are not right on the quarter beat. Now we can change that by going up to you know something like a 16th note, which means it's got a lot more notes. There's 16 individual places that it can place our notes in each bar. So now it's going to have a little bit more variety. It'll sound like this. So not bad, but again, it's that did it. Da, da, it's too robotic because it's it's doing. It's basically going one two three four, like one two three four, one two three four, one two three four, one two three four. It's it's actually just putting it right on in an absolute order. Now the other thing that a lot of folks would say is jump over here and use some swing, yeah. And this is probably not going to be a bad option. And uh, let's just try it first. So we'll go the lightest possible swing, which is one sixteenth light to start with, and let's play it back and see what this sounds like. So not, not bad, but yeah, it's a did it, did it. We don't really want it that did it, did it. So let's go back to eighth note and see if this sounds a bit better. Yeah, no, so the, the swing is too light. Do, 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 do. Let's go to one eighth heavy and see if this gets us closer. It's 
not bad, but that do 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 do, it's still a little bit too swingy, if you know what I mean. And if you don't, hopefully you can hear it. Even if you don't understand the theory, just listen to it. It's not sitting in what we call a pocket. It's not right there in the groove of those drums. So. Our final option is triplet. Now, you won't use triplet very often, but this is an example of where triplet is probably going to work well for us. Now, quarter note triplet won't work well. Let's play it just so that you can have a listen to why it won't work. So a pretty funky sort of different groove if we were going for something like that, but no, we don't want that. Let's bring it back and try an eighth note triplet and see if this is going to work for us. There you go, that's almost exactly where we want it to be. We'll just try the 16th note, just to see if there's one more sort of variation that's gonna work better. Now I think it's coming in a little bit early with that uh, 16th note. So we'll go back to the eighth note and we'll go with this. So this is what we have now. We'll go down to our last section here just for a bit of variety and listen to these last four bars and just see if this is gonna sit nicely in the pocket. So yeah, I think that's about right. Now, yeah, you could say, look, to get the most natural sound, go with no quantization. It means that you just have to play it really well. And other people would say, no, the best thing to do is to come in here and tap and go edit and then manually line up, sort of go in here and go every note and line them up on the grid. But you know what? By the time that we finish this track and we add in some, some keys and some vocals and some other things, not that it doesn't matter, I don't want you to think that perfection doesn't matter, but we want it to get it close as we can without spending an age trying to work through these details. So yep, go in and edit if you want, replay, re-record, definitely try and get it right at the source, but if you've got something that's pretty close, come in here, your quantization settings, especially now that you know that we've got straight, swing, and triplet that we can choose from, is going to give you those options that can help you get a sound that is in time and sounds professional in your tracks. And there you go, my favorite use of triplet quantization. It can be used in a whole bunch of other genres of music and other examples that you can think of, but the blues definitely helps out. Yes, you might use some swing sometimes, but for these particular types, for your 12 bar blues, having that triplet beat is gonna really help you out and bring your tighten up those blues tracks that you're recording or any other type of sort of laid back lounge sort of music. Anyway, if you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. There's two more videos all about quantization down below that might help you even more with this particular cool feature. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right corner or head on over to studiolivetoday.com for even more audio goodness.